Primary School would like to show respect and acknowledge to the traditional custodians of the land, and which are schools today, with elders past and present. We extend a warm welcome to everyone who visits our school. We acknowledge and show respect to the Aboriginal culture and heritage that the ongoing relationship that the traditional custodians have with their land. Welcome everybody to assembly. Please stand quietly for the national anthem. <laughs> Australians hold their dances for me on land and sea With golden sword and bells for to our ponies kept by sea Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty to our second week assembly. We are certainly in the coldest months of the year right now here at Wandong, and it's been great to see some children making some wise choices with their clothing. Please make sure girls and boys that you are wearing warm clothes, particularly with these frosty mornings that we've been having. Really important that you are choosing, you know, long pants and warm socks and jackets and beanies and so forth remembering to take them off when you're inside the classroom, but making sure they're on when you go outside at recess and lunchtime. Girls and boys, a reminder for this week around safe play, making sure that at all times you are upholding the rules of any game that you're playing with your friends when you're outside. Our values are most important when you are outside and perhaps there's not a teacher supervising you like in your classroom, but you uphold those values anyway. Important girls and boys that we do do that outside to make sure that everybody stays safe. And that is important for all your friends to be encouraging also that behavior. It's been fantastic this week. I've had a number of visitors to my office sharing their amazing work in their classrooms. Keep up the amazing work girls and boys. We are in term three and term three is one of my favorite terms because it is a term where we get to do lots and lots of our main learning. Term one's often short and then term two, we've got assessment and reporting and all those busy things we often get stuck with in term two. And then in term three, we get to do our biggest growing. And that's been great to see you celebrating that learning when I've seen you outside in your rooms and also bringing your work to me. So thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend, everyone. Please make sure that you do stay warm and that you are staying healthy. We've got lots of illnesses out in our community right now. And I know that we've had lots and lots of our teachers um, away with, with illnesses, but also you girls and boys, it's important that you are staying well as well. And that if you are sick, really sick, that you can't be at school, we completely understand that as well. So please stay well. Stay safe and have an amazing weekend and I can't wait to see what next week's learning looks like. Just a reminder girls and boys, uh, before we head off on our weekend that next week on 
Wednesday, very, very late at night, I'm heading overseas for my friend's 50th birthday in Fiji. So Miss Pollock uh, will be able to help you if you need somebody to reach out to. Miss Pollock will be your person. Miss Andrew and Miss Woods are also here and available to help and support you as well. Um, girls and boys, and I can't wait to share all that when I come back to Wandong the week after. On Monday, we had the launch pad for the new foundation students. And on Thursday, we had our Kel Day and the Womble, Wandong football team mates played Hazel Glen. They have one final to go. Next Tuesday, we have the last parent helper session for mums and dads who want to help out. Stay tuned on Compass. And next Friday, we have our open library session for new foundation students. This is Lyle from FC, and what was something fun that you did this week? I'm um, in my best friend. Well done. This is Edith from 12S. What was something fun you did this week? Um, do a leaf fight at outside. This is Lillian from 34H, and what was something fun you did this week? Um, I drew a really cool picture. Good afternoon everybody. I hope everybody has had another wonderful week at school. It's nice to finally see some sunshine out. A big, big, big congratulations to our football team for all of their efforts yesterday in representing our school. Um, you certainly did a wonderful job and we are all very proud of all of you, so well done. While we are talking about football, boys and girls, I just wanted to use this time um, as a bit of a reminder of how we should be conducting ourselves and, and what sort of behaviour we should be showing when we're playing football. Now, first and foremost, football alongside soccer, netball and lots of other sports is a team sport, which means that we should be always aware of how our behaviour impacts other people around us. Now, boys and girls, when we are playing football, it is a non-contact sport when we are at school. Now, AFL players are professional athletes. They're also adults, which means their bodies are lots, lots more developed than yours are, and that is why they are able to tackle. There are umpires that umpire the game when we're talking around professional football or professional soccer, which is why the rules differ quite significantly from what we play at school. So when you are playing football, I know Mrs. Langdon's grade will be able to tell you all about this. It means that when you want the ball, instead of tackling, you are merely to touch, okay? You should be touching, and then that means that the opponent has to get rid of the ball within three seconds. Under no circumstances is anybody to be tackling or putting their hands or feet on another student. It is not safe, and it goes against all of our reasons to feel safe at school. So that should not be happening at all. And if, if um, you do see this behavior from happening or you do notice that the game is getting quite rough, um, then you need to make sure you go and get a teacher to seek help. Um, teachers, please be diligent. If you are on yard duty over the oval um, around that big fort area, that, that you pay close attention to what, what the football games are looking like at the moment, because it really is an area that we need to make sure we are extra safe. Um, things are slippery out there, and we certainly need to make sure that we're aware of how to play safely in there so nobody gets hurt. That is the most important thing. Now, moving forward um, onto attendance this week, um, as, as much as the illness has continued slightly across the school, which is very sad for lots of you, I hope you're feeling better if you have been at home this week or sick for a couple of days. I am very, very excited to announce though that Mrs. Langdon's grade are our attendance winners this week. Mrs. Langdon's grade have an amazing attendance of 96.8%, which is not far from perfect. So Pugley is heading over to your rooms. Mrs. Smith, Pugley is also, didn't make his way to your tub last week. He's also heading over today, so please check your tub. And if we can send Big Pugley over to you one to L for the next week, that would be amazing. Now, last thing from me, boys and girls, was just a bit of an exciting announcement about our SRC representatives. We have a whole new plan this term um, and our first meeting back will be next week. So our SRC leaders have some um, exciting things to talk to you all about for us to work on. So teachers and students, um, get ready to 
expect that you might have some SRC representatives asking some questions around some of our learning programs um, and also visiting um, through some observations to see all the wonderful learning and give some feedback around what students are learning, which will be really, really wonderful. We've got some exciting fundraising opportunities coming up and also um, our sustainability SRC group is busy working and planning um, lots of fun activities for Sustainability Day, which will be happening early term four. Stay tuned, there's lots of exciting things to come. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Here's your house points.